Thunderbird. This is Brandon's first uh, fiberglass rock. So moving up in the world. Uh, let's see. This is going up on an I-366R. So it should be a nice red flame on this. It's still deploy. Uh, simulated to go 4,000 feet and pull the main out of 500. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was awesome. Be a little red drogue. Let's tumble it down. Yeah, it's on drogue. You got it. Mm, I had it. It's just at the top edge of that you got on trail. Eyes on that? Yeah, I do. Brandon? Yeah. It's on drogue. Okay, next up, Tony Faso is filing I'm gonna a follow it if you want to record. Mad Cow Tomac. Yeah. It's white and yellow. It is out there on pad A3, or I3, excuse me. Uh, this is going up on a J415. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Almost hit my rocket. Oh, that'll be good. Almost hit my rocket. <laughs> you see mine falling down. So it's just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw Arch. I didn't see an event, buddy. Come on, man. That might have done 6,000 feet. I think oh, I saw screaming. an event? Yeah. Uh, looks like Tony, I think you're under drug there. I think I got eyes on it. Right here. Contangled on that drug. The main should go in a second. I guess that is the main. No. There used to be a NAR competition. Main switch. Right There's now the main. The nice. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's come up to the Mall Rocket Rack. We have Sam Beard and flying an Esther Red Max on a 6.5 pad A1. Going in five, four, three, two, one. On an I three sixty six R, so it should be a nice red flame on this. It's still deploy. Uh, simulated to go four thousand feet and pull the main out of five hundred. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Pad eight seven Sterling Neff also has a, a scratch built Patriot. Going on an E eighteen. Sterling got continuity going in five. Four, three, two, one. That's probably where I'm going to wait a couple of years before it flies. But then I'm going to put it up again. Yeah, I should say. Hey, nice, you guys. Keep an eye on that. Okay, range is open if you need a new igniter. Good job. Where do you want to go? Here, I got it. Looks like I should have used the shoot release. Just little gusts up there. Well, it won't be too far. Might be down by the time they open the range again. I don't know. Just floating. Just don't catch it. Far right on the front front path. Uh, with the 
Canesta Sprocket you call So Long. Uh, it is a two-stager, and it's going on E16 to an E16. That should be a cool flight on A7. Got a good tone, and going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, on. Alright. Cool. It's going up on a Cepheroni I-345. It's simulated to go about 2,200 feet. Let's see. We got continuity on I-2. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Light, baby, light. Up the charter. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I've been out here a lot of times. I think I can only count maybe once or twice. It's just perfect for flying conditions. So get your rockets out there. Nice flight. Shoots out. Many times. I think I've seen this quite a few times. The motor in this is actually an experimental motor, which means he made the propellant that was in this motor. It wasn't a commercially made motor, which is super cool. It's checking in at a L800, supposedly wimpy red, so it should be a nice red flying. This should go to about 7,500 feet. It does have uh, electronic ejection at AFID, and then it is dual deployed, and main will come out at about 800. So let's see if we got K1. I do. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bobby 
XXL. This is a uh, this is a big fat little bullet thing that they tape you down. And you play Mario Brothers. Have you ever seen one of those? Uh, this is going up on a PCI I-287 Smoky Sam, so dark uh, black smoke uh, simulated to go to 1,100 feet on pad I-1, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> those are so funny. I love them. Nice, Pat. And a shoot. Nicely done. All right, next. Uh, black smoke. Uh, simulated to go to 1,100 feet on pad I-1, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Those are so funny. I love them. It's here a certification flight, Mr. Kip. It's going up on an H-283. Uh, that's a long motor for a certain flight. So it's fun. Oh, it's a wide one. Let's see, what do I got? Okay, got continuity going in five, four, three, two, one. Fin stayed on. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. Okay, looking good. All right, next we got James, I believe Peters. There's no last name on this, but I'm pretty sure it's him. Flying a lock position, high tech. Uh, this is going up on an H130. On pad A2, going in five, four, three, two, one. That was close. <laughs> Right there. All right. Next up, Lance Hill is flying his SBR-4. This is going up on a K805. So this should have a really pretty uh, green flame, uh, if you're paying attention to this one. These can be hard to light, but Lance is uh, he's a pro. Pad A3 going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Yeah, stumbling. All right, next up, Steve Jefferson is flying a Lock Patriot. Uh, this is his also a Bell One certification flight with Triple E on certification today. Super fun. This has an H550 in it. Cool. Um, wow. At a four. That is five, that four, is three, two, one. Whoa. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. Shoot. Keep an eye on that one. Make sure it's just back over. All right, next up, Ed Polakoff flying a lock. Master. Um, has a JA540 red in it, though. He's my favorite motor truck. Yeah, right. a six. Next to the EAQ. Yep, J540. <laughs> Next up, we got Eric Easton. He's flying an always ready rocket Phoenix Mark II. Shoot. He's going up on a J270 on pad I8. Run drogue up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
Some drogue? Something. I heard it. I see it. I was on stage.